Hello, Senior Stoner fans. Just a real Senior Stoner back at you for your Puff Go Peak dab of the day. Today is Wednesday. Good morning, everybody. Hello. Well, we've heard this term, but let's discuss. Very important. Life is full of Hail Marys. That's right. Hail Marys. It's not just that football pass Mr. Stoner and I were talking about. It's not just that one that's thrown between the uprights 55 yards in the air just to try to see if somebody can catch it before it goes into the end zone. Well, it's amazing how every time we think, we think this, we've done everything possible, can give nothing more, every situation, you've tried your hardest, you've thought of everything, but you know what? You didn't get it. You couldn't do it. We didn't succeed. What are you going to do? You know what? It's called a Hail Mary. It ain't a pass. That's right. It's what happens. It's the term we use when we hit that brick wall, when we can't go around it, when we can't go over it, when we can't go under it or through it. I'm talking about something very different than throwing a lot of stuff up on a wall and seeing if something sticks. I'm talking about a very specific thing. When people throw a Hail Mary pass, he's aiming for somebody behind those goalposts. He's wishing. He's hoping. But you know what? Hail Marys can be tailored. Hail Marys, that's right, can be your last chance, can be your last hurrah. But with a little thought, a Hail Mary can be much more. Think about it. The things you never considered, the things you never thought of, could be the Hail Mary. Think about it. It's really a response. Think about it. It's a response that you had in your back pocket. Think about this one. My mom, God rest her soul used to keep $20 in her wallet, which she called mad money. So that if daddy stopped paying her her weekly allowance for shopping and stuff, she still had money to feed us. It was called mad money. Well, you know what? It was tucked away in her purse somewhere and it was there for that purpose. But you know what? How many times, how many times have we heard, have we heard when we were young, Okay, that it takes a few extra bucks to get home. You need cab fare. How about you're out on a date? You're a young lady and you don't have cab fare to get home or Uber fare. You need to have plans for the unexpected. You need to have plans for when everything breaks down, the rules aren't applying. What do you do? That preparation of that $20 prevented the need for a Hail Mary. And a Hail Mary in that case is hitchhiking. Think about it. We've done it. People my age and much younger have hitchhiked. Not so much anymore, but you know what I'm talking about. Hitchhiking in itself is a Hail Mary. You have no other way to get where you're going or where you're trying to go. So why do people call it a Hail Mary? Why do people make it so that it's, oh my God, yeah, I, it's my last... Because it's not a boy who cried wolf situation. Hail Marys are just that. It's when everything else has failed you. It's when all the practicing and all the preparation has failed you. It's when you forgot your $20 mad money. It's when you don't even have it as a practice. So Hail Marys, not so much just for football, for life. But you've got to remember something about Hail Marys for life. Try not to throw one out a hundred yards wide. Try to narrow what you're throwing. Try to narrow the scope of who your target is for what you're trying to get accomplished. Hail Marys with personal situations are people trying to accomplish something. So instead of trying to accomplish 100 things with that Hail Mary, maybe try to accomplish one of 10. You know what I'm saying? Instead of making it one of a hundred things, make it one of ten. 
Make it one of five. Make it one of three. Give yourself a better chance with your Hail Mary. Hail Marys, everybody does them. But you're going to give yourself a better chance of success with your Hail Mary if you target it just a little bit. Think about how a football player targets a Hail Mary. He's throwing it to the other side. He knows he's not throwing it to his side. Behind him, he's only going in one direction. Maybe you fire off your Hail Marys in a specific direction that you find would benefit you if you achieve that goal. They're not for everyone because there's risk in Hail Mary. The risk is you will not achieve. But if you're beating your head against the stone and you're trying to get blood from a turnip, maybe it's right for you. Think about it, everybody. I'd love to have your thoughts. If you like this video, please subscribe. Let's take our Puffco Peak hit now. Send me your comments. I reply to every one of them. This is the real senior stoner. Let's take our hit. Puffco Peak is warming up to green for its haptic response. And by the way, today we're using Blue Burst Sativa Diamonds from SoCal Dabbers. Enjoy your day, everyone. Cheers. <coughs> Reliability. Puff Go Peak. <coughs> this has been The Real Senior Stoner. Have a great day, everybody.